This is a male patient with a heart cataract who was under the use of tamsulosin, which is a medication known to cause floppy iris syndrome. So we began this case by making a triplanar corneal incision, then some tripan blue dye is injected and a cohesive viscoelastic is used to inflate the anterior chamber and prepare for the capsularexis. This patient is under retrobulbar anesthesia. A paracentesis is made and now it's time for the capsularexis. It's important to make a very nice and generous capsularexis in such cases, at least about a 5 to 5.5 millimeters in diameter, or maybe even bigger if the cataract is very dense. Otherwise, the surgery can become very challenging as the pupil comes down during the procedure and you may run into a lot of trouble. So that's our goal here. So nice and easy, slowly but surely, we end up with a good rexis while the pupil has still a reasonable size. A hydro dissection is performed with a blend cannula and balanced salt solution. However, as soon as we go inside the AC with the phaco probe, this pupil becomes fairly small and meiotic. So here we try a phaco chop technique through this small pupil. The dense nucleus is brought up more anteriorly and we split it in two halves. And it's definitely a little bit of a challenge to chop and emulsify this dense cataract, but we eventually make it through and the last piece is taken down here. So now comes the single piece acrylic IOL that will be placed in the bag. Then the viscoelastic is aspirated with the IA probe going all around the anterior chamber. Finally, we put a 10 nylon suture in the main corneal incision just to make sure there won't be any leakage in the post-op. The knot is rotated, an air bubble is injected in the AC, and now this floppy iris case is concluded.